Okay, in this video, we are going to look at a quick circuit. Now this circuit is a timer circuit, and the heart of this circuit is the 555 timer IC, which you can see here. Now this little timer circuit runs on 9 volts, and this is my trigger switch. It's a push button switch, and when I press it, it will turn on my LED for 20 seconds. Now we have been told to wash our hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or more to get rid of viruses on our hands as we tend to touch our face which can cause us to become infected with the virus. So this is a little reminder to encourage us to wash our hands for at least 20 seconds. Now today we are surrounded with technology. We have our smartphones that have built-in timers. We could use that. But this is more of a permanent solution. It's a novelty. Kids would like it. So what you could do, you can mount your circuit on a breadboard, a Vero board, a strip board like this, and then cut it to fit your enclosure. So inside your enclosure you have slots and you just slide it in there with your 9 volt battery. And then you become creative. On top you could put a big lighted red button. So when you press the button it activates the light. Or you could get an LED light like this and a button. So you press the button, start washing your hands, and then when the light goes out you know you've washed your hands for at least 20 seconds. Now you probably noticed other components on my breadboard other than the 555 timer IC like these two transistors so this circuit does not have an on off switch so when you press the push button it activates the LED for 20 seconds and then when the LED goes out it actually shuts the circuit down so there's zero quiescent current so the battery will last for a long time so that's what this extra transistors are doing it's actually causing the circuit to shut off after the light turns off so we'll have a look at the schematic and we'll see how this circuit works. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard. This is my 20 second timer and the heart of the circuit is a 555 timer. It's a bipolar type but you could use a CMOS version. It will also work. Now when this circuit is off there is no current flowing because this transistor here is off. This is a PNP transistor. It's a high side switch. So to activate the circuit we press the push button which will activate two steering diodes so the first diode will ground pins two and six it will also bleed off any charge that's on this capacitor now the second diode feeds the drain of the MOSFET it will ground the drain of the MOSFET which will turn on this transistor so with this point grounded we're going to have current flowing from 9 volts through the emitter base junction through the resistor to ground which will activate this transistor which will power up the 555 timer and turn on our LED now because pin 2 is at ground, it's going to trigger, so our output will go high, which will turn on the MOSFET. So now the MOSFET drain will go to ground. So now we can release the push button. Now the MOSFET is holding the, the drain to ground, which will turn, keep the transistor on, so it's sort of like a latch. So as long as pin 3 is high, the transistor here will be on, powering the circuit. So now our capacitor can start charging, our RC network, our 270k ohm resistor, and a 68 microfarad capacitor which will give us 20 seconds so it starts charging until it hits two-thirds VCC and then it will shut off pin 3 it will turn pin 3 below which will turn off the FET and turn off the transistor and we'll have zero current, zero quiescent current until the next press of our push button okay the formula for calculating the timer T on in seconds is 1.1 times R times C and R is in ohms and C is in farads. So in our case, we have 1.1 times 270K times 68 microfarads, and that equals 20.2 seconds. So you could pick your arrangement of R and C that will give you a 20 second time using this formula. Okay, I have an ammeter connected up to my circuit, and I'll turn on my timer, which will activate the LED, and we're drawing about just over six milliamps so after it turns off we'll actually see the current draw and this capacitor here is my timing capacitor and this resistor here is my timing resistor so I have a 68 microfarad capacitor and a 270 k ohm resistor which gives me 20 second time delay on my 555 timer so she shut off and you can see the current has dropped to zero and I'll go to the microamp scale there's our microamp scale and you can see it's drawing no current so we have zero quiescent current 
which will enable our battery to last a very long time. Okay, so that's a little project that you could build. Now you could use a microcontroller to build a 20 second timer, but a lot of people are not into microcontrollers, so I decided to use a 555 timer. Also, when you're building your enclosure and you're putting on your switch, make sure it has an O-ring or, or rubber gasket, because this box is probably going to be near a sink where there's going to be water, so you don't want water getting into your box. Plus, it will make it easier to clean the box if you have uh, some kind of sealer on your on your switch. So this is one small step that you could do to keep yourself and your family healthy and safe.